And God remembered Noah and all the beasts and all the cattle that were with him in the ark. And God caused the spirit to pass over the earth and the water subsided. And the springs of the deep were closed and the windows of the heavens. And the rain from the heavens was withheld. And the waters receded off the earth more and more. And the water diminished at the end of a hundred and fifty days. And the ark came to rest in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month on the mountains of Ararat. And the waters constantly diminished until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first of the month, the mountain peaks appeared. And it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made. And he sent forth the raven, and it went out back and forth until the waters dried up off the earth. And he sent forth the dove from with him to see whether the waters had abated from upon the surface of the earth. But the dove found no resting place for the sole of its foot, so it returned to him to the ark because there was water upon the entire surface of the earth. So he stretched forth his hand and took it and he brought it to him to the ark. And he waited again another seven days, and he again sent forth the dove from the ark. And the dove returned to him at eventide, and behold, it had plucked an olive leaf in its mouth. So no one knew that the water had abated from upon the earth. And he again waited another seven days. And he sent forth the dove, and it no longer continued to return to him. And it came to pass in the six hundred and first year, in the first month, on the first of the month, that the waters dried up from upon the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark. And he saw, and behold, the surface of the ground had dried up. And in the second month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, the earth was dry. And God spoke to Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you, every living thing that is with you of all flesh of fowl, and of animals, and of all the creeping things that creep on the earth. Bring out with you, and they shall swarm upon the earth, and they shall be fruitful and multiply upon the earth. So Noah went out, and his sons, and his wife, and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, it all fell. Everything that moves upon the earth according to their families, they went forth from the ark. And Noah built an altar to the Lord, and he took of all the clean animals and of all the clean fowl and brought up burnt offerings on the altar. The Lord smelled the pleasant aroma, and the Lord said to himself, I will no longer curse the earth because of man, for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. And I will no longer smite all living things as I have done. So long as the earth exists, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease.